If you felt so strongly, you probably would have said some, but you don't because now you need to suck off their teats just to be able to make some dimes. Congratulations, you played yourself. Everybody warned you left and right that you probably shouldn't be doing this. Nigga, you can't swim. And then you decide to go in the deep end with the sharks, found out shit's a little steep. And all of a sudden you want everybody to jump in there. Save your ass. You were warned, brother. Abba and Sneeko are two people that you would consider to be in a certain group of people's eye. Um, the public eye, you could probably say. I would say that the relationship between them has definitely been interesting since I've been keeping up with them and watching their content. I think there's a lot to learn from this relationship between them, especially Sneeko's banning. Um, I recently stated that I don't necessarily believe that Sneeko should have been banned because I believe that social media plays a certain part in our society to where now... It's more serious if you do get banned, even though these are private organizations, it still holds some type of weight because they have, like I said, they play a different part in our society than they did, you know, 10, 15 years ago. And another thing is, is even though I do advocate for people being able to say what they would like to say on social media, you know, I advocate for free speech. I always will advocate for free speech. I also do agree with Abba when you say, when he says that this is a certain platform where you can say certain things, but if you do say these certain things, you're going to get certain responses, whether they are positive or negative. Sneeko wanted to be able to say what he wanted to say, which is fine. But he wanted to be able to say what he wanted to say. Sneeko wanted to be able to say what he wanted to say. But I don't think he really understood the repercussions that were going to come from that. The thing that Abba was trying to explain to him was, it's like, hey, you can say these things, but be smart about it. Say these things in a certain way to where YouTube doesn't have the rights to ban you. They would have to actually, you know, go against their guidelines to ban you. Be smart about it. Be analytical. Be, be strategic about what you're trying to say. And try to convey your message in another way. The problem with Sneeko is, is I agree with some things Sneeko said. I disagree with other things that he said. But the problem that he had was, is that he wanted to be able to say it exactly how he wanted to say it. And then expect no one to ban him. I don't know necessarily what was going on between their messages or their private conversations, but from what I've seen, what I've gathered, Gideon, Abba, multiple people, Destiny, have told him that, hey, if you keep going down this route, saying the things that you're saying in the way that you're saying them, you're going to get banned. And from what we've seen, it doesn't seem like Sneeko took that advice. And the thing is, is that, like I've said, I, I will always advocate for free speech, but this is a world this is not the reality of the world that we live in the reality of the world that we live in is that free speech isn't really necessarily free speech it's free speech to a degree so when you're on a platform like youtube you have to say things in a certain way that's just the reality of the world you know if you consider yourself part of the right you're gonna have to say things that you believe in in a different way than someone have to say on the left and that's just the reality of the world is it fair no it's not fair but you know you tell women that oh well if this is the reality of the world you can't walk at night by yourself but when it comes to you talking about the reality of the world, it doesn't really apply to you. You know, that's not really how this works. So even when you talk about women and how they go about things walking at night, and this is what you should do if certain things happen, this is the reality of the world, that thing also needs to apply to you when you want to talk about your message. And this is the reality of the world. You have to skew it in a certain way to where you don't get banned. But he didn't do that. So now we're in a situation where he is banned almost off of all social media platforms and he is trying to gather himself and get himself together so he can move forward with his business. I'm not saying Sneeko is hurting right now. I doubt. I mean, he he, he took a loss, you know, getting uh, kicked off of YouTube. But as far as money is concerned, I don't think he's struggling. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not in this man's pockets. So I can't exactly say, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was fine. You know, he's on interviews with the Tate brothers. You know, he's doing interviews with other people, no jumper. So, I mean, he's not necessarily completely wiped off of the internet. Abba and Sneeko did a previous video a while ago. I don't know how long ago, maybe a couple months ago. But they were talking about women and having uh, sex with women. And Abba was basically saying, after a while, after a couple of dimes, you know, you it gets boring. And Sneeko was saying, no, you just get you just get new. And I feel like even, like I said, this interaction between Abba and Preach, you can tell the difference in age. Not because of what they look like or the, the facial hair that they have, the gray hairs that have. Like, it, you can, if you close your eyes and you listen to the conversation, you can hear the difference in age because of what they're saying and how they say certain things. I feel like Sneeko has a, a, a good message to a degree, but he's missing a lot of the things that can go wrong with his message. What Abba is trying to say is that after a certain while, certain things are just not, not it. 
and that's fine that's because he's older he's experienced more he's experienced different things and that's okay but Sneeko is in a different part of his life and he doesn't really understand everything Sneeko preaches about being part of the matrix but we're all part of the matrix in a certain type of way he also preaches that we are in the matrix and we can't necessarily separate from the matrix but we can regulate it to a certain degree of how it affects our lives which i do necessarily agree but you trying to get out of the matrix got you kicked off all platforms and now you can't even spread your message what abba was trying to say in that video was you can't necessarily break out of the matrix we all understand that there's a certain order of things and how people want us to go about our life which is true to a certain degree but if you want to break out of that you have to use that system to spread your message if sneeko was a little bit more strategical and analytical about the things that he was saying he wouldn't have got kicked off the platform he would still be here trying to spread his message but he sacrificed you know having a platform to say what he wanted to say me personally um i don't necessarily agree with how you know youtube does everything but i respect it and it's their platform so i have to say my say my points in a certain way to where it's respectable yeah i can get my point across and that's what that's what a lot of uh people have to do on youtube whether it be abba and preach whether it be destiny whether it be hassan you know whether it be uh Jide, it's, there's a lot of people who may have controversial views but because we're on a certain platform whether that platform be uh steered towards the left or the right regardless we have to be analytical and logical and strategical about how we say certain things if we don't want to end up getting kicked off these platforms now like i said do i think it's fair that they kicked them off do i think it's fair that they kicked andrew tate off for what they said i personally my personal opinion i do not think it was fair but at the same time like i said this is a private organization and this is this is the world that we live in we have to act accordingly and we have to maneuver in a certain way to where we can still get our message out but we don't get kicked off the platform i thought that what abba said about being friendly you know telling talking to you in private and not exposing you on the internet i thought that was uh very logical i thought that was very um friendly you know even when i have issues with my friends i'm not going to just call them out in the middle of a group chat i'm not going to do that i'm not going to embarrass them if i if i consider you my friend i'm going to talk to you in private about the issues that we have i'm not just going to blast you in front of everybody but not everybody is the same i just think that there's a lot that we can learn from the situation even how sneaker has gone about this in the end you know he hasn't really said that he would change the way he said things even andrew tate has come back and said yeah i probably should have been more strategical about how i said certain things been more careful because i do have a certain influence and i do want to spread my message but spreading this message is going to get me kicked off a certain platform i'm not just spreading this message but spreading this message and saying it in a certain way is going to get me get me kicked off this platform i believe he said that during the Piers morgan interview i wish the best for sneeko um like i said i don't really agree that he should have been kicked off the platform but at the same time he didn't you know abide by youtube's guidelines they told him not to release another video and he released another video regardless of what the video was about they told him not to do it and he did it anyway so i can't really say that i'm surprised that he got kicked off whether i agree with it or not is a different story but i'm not surprised no one's really surprised that he got kicked off because he wasn't following the directions that they had given him i'm not really surprised that sneaky got kicked off not a lot of people are really surprised that they got kicked off um multiple youtubers told him that he was going to get kicked off if he didn't follow the guidelines um youtube told him you know do not post and he posted anyway regardless of what the post was you gotta follow direction and they weren't playing games and that's just what happened um no one's really surprised whether i agree with it or not is really irrelevant now you just have to find another way to uh spread your message i feel like i said if there are any youtubers out there or any content creators out there who uh want to spread their message and they may think like sneeko or may think like andrew tate or anyone for that matter and it may go against the grain of what uh the majority of uh, people on youtube or just not in youtube but in on the in the west believe just be crafty be analytical be smart and be strategic about how you say things if you don't want to get kicked off these platforms like j cole says don't save her she don't want to be safe that's you